We're talking about how God in his word gives us that full access to his grace. Full access to the spirit of God. That we don't have to live in a state or in a mindset of, oh, I, I'm living my life, but, but, there's, but there's some things that God has for me that are always going to be out of reach, or, 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 or my, I, I've made too many mistakes, I'm, I'm written off, my past is too big for God to do something great in my future. But we understand here today that that's a lie from the enemy, that what God has for us today in the church today, in 2023, in the New Testament church today, He can give us that full access to what it is we're speaking about today, to the grace, to the mercy, to the power of His Spirit. And it was all made possible by what Christ did on the cross for you and I. That He died on that cross. He was crucified for our sins and He rose again just three days later. And so this scripture that we've been going through the past several weeks walks us through the the process and the the importance and the significance of what happened in those moments. That when Christ died, there was no longer a separation between us and God. Because you see, sin is what separates us from God. Sin is what separated us from the fall of man, from Adam and Eve. When they made that first choice to disobey, there was a separation that occurred between us and God. Because you see, God is holy, which means he's separate from sin. So anything that is sinful, anything that is of a sinful nature cannot coincide with God or cannot be in that same place with God. And so there was a separation of you and I. From God because of our sin. But you see when Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And when he rose again there was a shift that took place. That where there was once a separation. Where there was once a division. Jesus stepped into the gap. He stepped into the void and he said, I'm going to take on that sin. I'm going to take on that separation. I'm going to take on those things that separate us. And so because of what he did, we have full access today that we don't have to be separated. We don't have to be ashamed or or, or condemned because of our sin. But we can say, God, I can give that to you. I can ask for forgiveness of my sins. I can repent of my sins. I can receive grace and mercy today. And I can come to know God in his spirit. He became the sacrifice. He became that offering. It wasn't for show. It wasn't just a symbol. But it was the start of something new. Everyone say new. See, in Christ, we have new life. In Christ, we can experience a newness that we can't even comprehend in the physical or in, 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 in our human nature, we can't have nothing to compare it to. Because you see, in this world, in this physical realm that we live in, right, new only is new for a little bit. And if you don't believe me, right, get in a brand new car. And you get, what do you get? You get that, mm, that brand new car smell. You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? And what happens a year later, two years later, you're like, well, I don't really smell the new car anymore. Maybe I need like a new car, fresh air freshener. If they make those, that would be brilliant, right? Anything new in this life doesn't last new for long. It doesn't have that newness for long. You, you buy a, a, a new pair, pair of clothes, a shirt or, or pants, or whatever it might be, right? And, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is a conspiracy theory, but I feel like they do something in the lights in those stores. You know what I'm talking about? Because it just looks a lot better than, than when you go home. I don't know what, what they do, right? But, but you take something new and the excitement of something new Right? And time comes, and what happens? That newness, that excitement, that quote unquote freshness, it starts to to decay. It starts to go away. But what Christ is talking about us today is a newness that just doesn't go up and down or fades after a few weeks or a few years. But there's a transformation that takes place. That when Christ enters my life and I say, God, I'm going to submit to you. I'm going to surrender to you. He's offering a newness of life, a recreation of the way that I thought, the way that I acted, the way that I talked. I'm made new in him. 